you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> Alright guys, so I gotta start this video off by saying something I never thought I'd say in a million years. Something that's really been itching in the back of my throat for a while, but I just can't hold it in any longer, so... I don't care that you broke your elbow. But the other thing I gotta say that I still can't believe I have to say is that I was wrong. <laughs> Yep, that's right kids, Uncle Wallows was wrong. I thought that Ice Spice would be the trend that comes and goes like usual. But no, I was horribly, horribly fucking wrong. So now, I gotta right my wrongs and take a look back at the Rising Bronx Drill Rapper and see how much this industry plan can grow. <laughs> Alright, so I know I like to clown on every music artist I talk about, no matter how big or small, but you know, with all of this shit talking I do on Drake of all people, I think that I should have been the one in a goddamn flight to Toronto. I mean, yeah, I know that I said that, honestly, never mind, it's the worst thing I've heard in my 20 plus years of living. And yeah, I said that you peaked years ago, but Drizzy, Drake, Champagne, Pops, my man, come on, I'm just being a critic. I mean, can a man not be a hater anymore? No. Nope. But aside from all of my rambling, we gotta talk about Ice Spice, man. I mean, it's so obvious how she's a plant, and I know that the last video I made on Ice Spice, I said, her she's in a plant cause like the internet is random and whatnot. but I don't even think the CIA could pull off what's been going on in Ice Spice's career recently. I mean Spotify playlist covers, big interviews and cosign to then linking up with Drake for god knows what. Like I can't be the only one that just doesn't understand how something like this can come organically, especially when you only have 6 songs in your entire discography from the past 2 years. Before I really make it sound like I'm being a hater right now, listen, I know that industry plants have been a thing for a long time from Vanilla Ice to Drake himself. I just think that it feels so fishy for someone to claim that they have no investors in their career to have a career that obviously looks like they have pretty big players behind the scenes. But if there's one thing I won't deny her is the career itself. Is it artificial? Yes, of course it is. But is this a life-changing opportunity that she's taken advantage of by any means necessary? Yeah, and rightfully so. Cause see, if there's one thing I've realized about the hip hop industry is that it's heavily connected. Like take a good look at the 90% of these rappers backgrounds and you realize that they know someone influential in the industry already, whether it be they grew up with them or related to them or just happen to know them off a whim. I mean shit like what's happening with Ice Spice since happened a lot, prime example being Travis Scott. I mean, the guy's got a video game character and a shitty McDonald's meal now. Like, that's insane levels of commercial peaking. And what I said in the last Ice Spice video is that if she really wants this to go far, she has to use all resources possible to her disposal, or something like that, I can't remember. And it obviously seems like she, or whoever's pulling the strings, is making that happen to the highest degree. I mean, let's not forget she has a pretty small catalog of music, not even having an EP to talk about. Just a couple of semi-viral singles and some pretty nice music videos, if I do say so myself. And then when looking at the numbers for her music, she barely holds a candle to some of the top drill artists in New York City. Hell, she's not even a top stream artist in the Bronx, so when you see someone like that just speed running to her commercial success, it only makes you question what's really going on with her career. And then just talking about music in general, it's really not that good. Like I said before in the last video, her music really isn't that solid, mainly lacking the cadence, delivery, and confidence to really be standout singles. Even in her latest single, Munch is just another example of this, where they're having little energy and weak delivery over this generic drill beat that just doesn't hold any other weight to the competition. It feels more like someone just whipped up something that sounds catchy and trendy enough and then just tossed her some lyrics to read. I mean, drill music is the new viral wave now, specifically New York drill, so it's not going to be very hard to find someone that can turn into a viral star overnight. So take that and then add in the fact that sex sells pretty well in the hip hop industry, and you got cats like Ice Spice completely skipping the line to the top. Overall, I don't mean for this to knock her down a peg or whatever, I'm not like that because I can't talk, I am a broke college kid at the end of the day. But if there's one thing that I've realized is that the music industry isn't even trying to hide the artificial growth of artists, and I'm not just talking Ice Spice either, just take a look at damn near any indie artist nowadays, I mean their careers are faking in their personalities. But that's just my two cents on everything going on in Ice Spice's career recently. I feel like it was necessary to double back on my previous video. And Ice Spice, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know that I still got that Red Lobster gift card if you still want to have a good time. I might not get you signed, but I could tell you about how much I love Death Grips. But thanks for everyone for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, follow my IG and Twitter, and follow yours as well if you like the illustrations. And on that note, I'll see you on Friday when I become Wisconsin's newest drill artist. Peace.